Hey what's up simmers, so I know that I've been away for some time but I really wanted to make this last video for the completion of the mini series on how to build a small panel for your flight simulator. Remember with the knowledge that you have so far you can always extrapolate and build bigger and better panels. Uh, this video was supposed to be a one part video but due to the amount of information that will be given I've decided to cut into two videos. In this, first in, in this first half we are going to get to know the, the components and just know how they wire to the controller board and uh, the second part we are going to interface them with the flight simulator, okay? Are you ready? Let's go! First of all, let's take a look at the components that we'll use. We have an on-off switch that already has been connected to the to the controller board. We have an on-off on switch that we have uh, already wired. We have a rotary switch uh, with multiple soldiers on uh, multiple pins. Also, we have a rotary encoder. We have a pot. Okay, and we have a mini joystick, just, just something like this. Okay, uh, I have here a, a simple on off push button. Okay, but we are not going to waste time on this because it, uh, it works and it connects exactly like a, a, a simple on off button. Okay, so. Uh, the on off button is uh, on off switch is already connected okay just uh, to remind you guys how to connect an on off on switch we'll take a look at that right now okay just so uh, this kind of switches has three positions so in the middle it's a neutral position where no electric signal is being passed on. The other two positions are the input positions, okay? So we have one input position, one ground pin, and another input position. So with that, we, we take one uh, wire, one input wire, and we connect with one uh, input slot right here on the controller board okay just it's that simple and then we take the the ground the ground wire and we can ground this slot right here it's it's indifferent if you ground uh, the first slot the first input or the second input okay it's irrelevant it just needs to be to be grounded so let's just grab the the other input just a bit messy and we we grab the the other input and just connected it normally okay so it just it's that simple just one input one ground and one one other input okay so in the board it's exactly like this so if you we have Two, two slots for two buttons which equals to four uh, spaces here on the controller board we are going to use only three rotary switches also act like buttons this is a, a multiple button machine uh, so every time you you turn it just gives a, another uh, electric impulse to, to another button okay so just solder as many pins as you as you need and the middle pin again this one has two but uh, you just need to, to solder run uh, except if you if you use all the the different pins but soldier the the middle pin for the for the ground slot okay I'm not going to to, to connect them all, just connect one or two just for an example. So just you have the, the ground wire, let's do that first, okay? Well, it's no need to be on camera, but I'm going just to connect them 
in the same way that I connected the, the previous on off on switch. The rotary encoder, uh, as you see, I have already connected two buttons for my rotary switch. Okay, input, uh, ground wire, and input again. Okay, so the rotary encoder will be once more uh, connected like uh, an off on on uh, button or switch. Okay, so this behaves exactly like uh, the the buttons, the middle the middle pin you connect a, a ground wire and the other two on the sides are the input pins okay so just once again pin uh, input pin into the button slot then the middle pin to the ground slot and another input pin to the button in the connector okay with this let's go over to the pots and mini chest. Regarding uh, the connection of pots, we have here a Bodnar PU0836X, okay, which has axles capability, okay. So uh, the normal pot, uh, the simple version of these pots, I have three pins, okay. The first one uh, will be connected to the plus five volts in the board. Okay, the middle one is the input uh, pin, and the third is the the pin that will ground the the component. So you just find uh, you could just find some easy diagrams of this on the web. So first pin on the on the plus five, second pin in the in the input slot, and the third will ground the the component. Okay, it's very simple. The mini joystick is a, a bit more complex but still doable by you. A uh, joystick is in fact two axles that move perpendicular to each other, okay? So it will occupy two axle connections in the board. So I, I have uh, here another mini joystick that has been soldiered. Uh, if yours is like mine, you have right here um, all the connections perfectly identified. So the the ones in the middle are the input connections. Uh, the the right one is the ground connection, and the the left one is the connection that goes to plus five volts. Okay, but here on the board, what do we need? We have here uh, the blue the blue wires are the ones with the inputs, so they are uh, in Y and Z axles. Um, we have grounded one, uh, one of these axles because each component only needs to be grounded once, okay? But we needed to, to have two uh, different connections to the five, plus five volt uh, slots, so I did this I just in the in the wire that connects to the VCC okay it's just one wire but I made a cut and I soldiered one other small wire and so one wire divi divides into two and so we have one axle with uh, plus five volts input and ground and another uh, and another one occupied by plus 5 volts and input okay so this is uh, the way that I do it you have here uh, the spaces for uh, the head switch or POV uh, switch which uh, is specific for this kind of uh, connections but here we have four different uh, input slots so I only have two and I prefer to do it like this because I think it would it will be easier okay so only pay attention to extra attention to to this uh, little add-on that you have to do so this concludes the first part of the final video of this mini series as always I left the transcript of the entire video in the comment se section below and as always I value all of your feedback so if you have any questions or ideas you can uh, post them below and I'll be seeing you for the final part uh, of this
this final video, okay? So, I'll see you later. Até já!